So I got my new milling machine <laughs> there behind the car. And one of the things I need to do now that I have that is cut up aluminum. And I went to the scrap yard the other day and got a bunch of this half inch plate. And I need to cut it into pieces that I can fit on the mill. And there's like, how do you do that? Do you have a big bandsaw, whatever else? And I wanna show you how I've been doing it. This is a big box store brand cordless skill saw. You can guess which box store it came from. It's got a Diablo finished plywood blade on it. Just carbide teeth, looks just like that right there. And I wanna show you how well it works on half inch plate like this. This is 6061. I know from measuring before that from the edge over here to the far side of the blade is five and a sixteenth inches. So I'm gonna cut this a little bit fat by a sixteenth so that I can finish up the last part on the mill. And I need a part that's three and a quarter inches long. So three and a quarter plus five and a sixteenth is uh, eight and five sixteenths. I'm gonna give it one more sixteenth just to be fun. So that's eight and three eighths is where I'm gonna make a mark. And then I'm gonna do that on the other side of my aluminum. Eight and, did we say three eighths? I hope so. I'll measure twice just to make sure. Just to make sure all the measurements are right, I did scribe a line here. Sorry, there's lots of scratches on there, but I did scribe a line across there just to make sure that the saw lines up the way I think it should. Then I added a straight edge, a couple clamps. Here we go. This does make just an absolute butt pile of hot spicy chips all over the floor and everywhere else. So you're better off taking this over to your neighbor's yard or something like that if you can. Uh, but if you're like me and your entrance into your kitchen is right there, you have to have the broom and everything real close and handy. You want to get that cleaned up. This is just WD-40 putting on a little bit of that to keep the blade from galling up with chips. But uh, here we go. None the worse for where this thing just rips right through half inch aluminum and we can see the edge there not too shabby looking that's how you cut aluminum if you're balling on a budget good luck cutting your aluminum take it easy friends